One of the big myths is that large animals or big dogs um, don't make great apartment livers, but that's actually quite a big myth because some of the best dogs living in apartments are the dogs that are actually quite large, like greyhounds. Bunnies are great. Bunnies are one of those pets that people actually construe as um, not being a great little pet to have around. The one thing about having bunnies indoors is you just got to make sure that you bunny proof the house. Bunnies like to chew on things. Cats, obviously, we prefer cats to be indoors because um, cats can find themselves in a lot of trouble outdoors, whether they get run over or um, get involved in cat fights and um, the spread of a disease called feline AIDS um, can be common when cats are fighting. So, um, you know, cats are great companions and preferably indoors. 20 to 30 percent of animals that are surrendered to the RSPCA, be that cats or dogs or rabbits, are actually surrendered because people can not, no longer keep their pets either in their apartment or their rental property. Advertising that you are pet friendly or that you would consider pets um, has been shown to actually have a few positive effects for landlords. Number one, their properties are more likely to be rented out quicker, which means that they spend less money on advertising those properties. Uh, people that actually rent with pets are likely to have longer leases, uh, so that obviously means that you have a tenant that is actually in a long-term lease, means it's more successful for the landlord. It's pretty gorgeous, isn't it? You're so